Hey, welcome to Yoga with Josie. I'm Josie. Thank you so much for choosing to come and practice with me today. Our practice today is going to be all about our hearts and opening up our chest and through our shoulders, um, just to loosen up that tension that we tend to build both within the front of our hearts and the back of our heart space into our thoracic spine. So in on a deeper level of when we open up physically along our hearts and our shoulders, um, we open up energetically through Anahata, which is our heart chakra, allowing ourselves just to be open to receive and to give love freely and to be able to really truly feel loved and accepted in our lives and within ourselves, which is the most important part. And that is that practice of self love and acceptance. So let's get ready and I'll see you on your mat. So we're going to get started with the knees about mat width apart. Just kind of relaxing into that nice open hip child's pose. You want to get up there. Get up there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so even feel free to rock your chin a little bit from side to side, relaxing, releasing through your cervical spine. And then let your head just settle. Even resettle your hands, relaxing your fingertips down, softening along your neckline into your shoulders. And begin with three deep cleansing breaths. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, sigh it out. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. And one more, breathe in. And exhale, breathe it all out. And just softly swallow, settling into a natural yet deep and calm breath. Beginning to feel and to focus on feeling and connecting to that space around your heart. And even through the back space of your heart in between your shoulder blades. And just simply anchoring yourself in this feeling of love. Can you be still and present enough in this moment to even feel love? and feel yourself surrounded by the beauty of this moment. The stillness, maybe subtle sounds that are around you. Even just simply the sound of your breath. And even to connect deeper to that feeling of love. Think of someone specifically in your life that makes you feel loved. And first allow yourself to receive that feeling of being loved, feeling grateful for it. And as you redirect and send that same love back, begin to see that person receiving the love with appreciation, with gratitude. Just give yourself another big inhale. Exhale, side out. And just to ease off your hips for a moment, begin to shift your body weight forward. If you need to kick out the legs at all, feel free. And then all you're doing is anchoring your glutes back to your heels again. And then begin to slip your right arm underneath here where you're going to thread the needle, taking your right shoulder and your right ear down. Feel free to lift the left elbow, creating more extension through your left arm. Or if you want to take it a little bit more passive, maybe it feels good to drop your elbow down. 
Try both and see which one feels better to you. Just two more big breaths on this side. And then gently begin to come back to center, switching sides, threading your left arm through, laying your left shoulder and your left ear down. And again, does it feel better to you to keep the right elbow lifted or do you want to settle it down? Taking two more deep breaths. And then as you unthread, just softly begin to shift forward, coming on to all fours. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and just begin to awaken your spine, moving through gentle cat and cows. So dropping your belly down, sending your heart forward and through, shoulders back. And as you exhale, gently tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, round and lift your spine. Inhale, send your heart forward, shoulders back, chin up, even look up. And as you exhale, round your spine, tucking your tailbone, pressing your hips towards your face. One more, inhale your heart forward. And as you exhale, round your spine. Coming back to neutral, just gently begin to tuck your toes under, core engaged. Tuck your toes and sink your glutes back to your heels, just putting a little bit of pressure into the arches of your feet, into your calves. Notice where you're trying to intentionally send your breath. And then shift your body weight forward. Untuck your toes, but actively press the tops of your toes into your mat just to feel this little lift of your lower uh, abdomen and your navel lifting up into your spine. Begin to engage your fingertips, pressing into your mat, and you're going to reach your right arm straight forward with your thumb facing up. Try to not shift too much body weight here. You're engaging your core, keeping your hips level. Reach your right arm to the right side, straight out. And then reach your right hand straight back towards your right hip with your thumb facing up. And then see if you can reach your right pinky higher. And then see if you can wrap into a half bind behind you. Oh, thank you, Buddha. He put his paw on top of my arm to anchor it there. <laughs> and if you want a deeper neck and shoulder stretch, gently look over your left shoulder. Make sure your belly isn't dropping. Lift your belly button up. Heart forward. One more deep breath. If you're looking to the left, look straight down. Begin to reach and extend your right arm straight out. And then straight forward. Core strong. Exhale, release your right hand back down. You're just switching sides. Left arm goes straight forward. Thumb facing up. Shoulder height. Try to keep your hips level. Don't sh shift or sway over to the right side. As you reach your left arm out, palm facing down, and then begin to reach your left hand straight back, thumb facing down, and then kind of tracking along your tricep here, begin to reach your left hand higher, then begin to bend at your elbow, wrapping into that half bind. And again, maybe you just keep it here if you want a deeper stretch. Begin to look over your right shoulder. Make sure your belly isn't dropping. Tuck your tailbone a little bit. Lift your belly button up. Send your chest forward. Take one more deep breath. 
Core stable and strong. Bring your head back to center, looking down. So if you're going to reach and extend your left arm straight up. Core engaged. Reach your left arm straight forward. And exhale, release it back down. So just easing off the wrists, you're going to tuck your toes under again and just sink your glutes back, slide your hands back, and you're going to turn your fingertips to face towards you. If you want to create a little rock here, you can. Shifting forward, shifting back. Nice and gentle on the backs of your wrists. And then keep your weight a little forward and you're just going to do little circles. Either direction. Just move a few times in that direction and then you'll change the direction. And then settling back into center, shift your hips forward just a little bit to take the weight out of the wrist. And now the fingertips stay back, but you're going to flip the palms to face up. Ground the all 10 fingernail beds. If this becomes too intense, you can do one hand at a time. So the palms are facing up, your fingertips are facing back. And maybe you lean back a little bit. Again, you can stay still or inhale moves you forward, exhale you pull back gently. So these are just little micro movements, just a little bit of flexion in the wrists. And then think very tiny circles. There's not a whole lot of weight here in the backs of your hands, it's more in your legs. In the opposite direction. And then slowly begin to release your hands. You can sit back, shake it out. <laughs> and then gently shift forward to all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Untuck your toes and tap out your feet. Keep your core tight. And then tuck your toes under. Activate your core. Lift your belly button up. Press so firm to your hands and the balls of your feet that your knees begin to lift up. A slow progression to your downward facing dog. So they begin to pull your hips back until your arms and your spine are in one straight line. And then slowly begin to straighten through the legs. Take your time. Gently walk it out. And then rising high your tiptoes. Exhale, soften your heels down and back. See if you can melt your heart a little bit more forward through your shoulder girdle. And gently shake your head no, relaxing along your neckline. And then slowly nod your head yes. And then maintain a gentle tuck of your chin. Press firmer to your hands so you can feel your arms growing a little bit longer, your hips reaching a little bit higher. Inhale. And side out. As you inhale, just come forward to a high plank. Just pausing to find your plank. If you need to modify, just lower to the knees. Keep your belly lifted. Keep your quads and your shins lifted. Your heart forward. Activate your fingertips as you shift forward to your tiptoes. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. And then point your toes back as you inhale, lift your heart into cobra. Exhale, soften your heart back down. Oh, thank you, Buddha, for your assistance. Inhale, lift your heart again. And exhale, soften it back down. So you can slide your hands back about an inch and now squeeze and hug your biceps and elbows in even tighter. And then inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, reach it forward and down. Slide your palms underneath your shoulders again. First, push so firm to your knees that your hip bones lift up. And now push to push up. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Try to keep your hands and your feet in the same place. Inhale, bring it forward, high plank. 
Count of three, lower all the way down. Can your hips and your heart ground at the exact same time? And then point your toes back. Inhale, lift into your cobra. Nice long neck. Exhale, release your heart back down. Now option one, your knees stay down. Option two, toes tuck, knees lift up, hip bones lift up. Now push up to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath, one movement. Inhale it forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Point your toes as you lift your heart. Exhale, ground down. Either knees down or knees up. Inhale, push up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog and hold for three. Last two. And then pushing to your hands, you're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. And then once you rise, let your legs bend a little bit. And as you inhale, length, lift your spine halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, round your spine, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. One more, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, forward fold. So just softly bend at your knees, bring your hands down, and heel toe your feet about mat width apart. You're gonna let your legs keep a little bend, and then hold to opposite elbows, and just shift weight side to side, letting your spine sway. So when you sway over to the right, push off from your left foot. And then when you sway over to the left, push from your right foot. Moving slow enough to feel this lateral stretch, maybe even a little bit into your obliques if you add a little twist. One more time to each side. And then bring it back to center. Take a big breath. And then bend deeper into your legs to feel your quads fire up. Release your hands where they are, maybe crisscross. And then gently begin to roll your spine all the way up. Take your time to stack vertebrae on top of vertebrae. And then once your head lifts, just softly roll your shoulders back a few times, keeping the stance of your legs nice and wide. And then palms facing forward. If you peek down at your feet, they should be in alignment with the edges of your mat, so your feet are still parallel, even though they're wider. And then keep your chest lifted. And then reach your arms out and up. Exhale, reach up and over towards your right side. Left arm reaches up and over. Power into your feet as you inhale, reach it back up. And exhale, reach up and over towards the left. Power into your feet, inhale, reach and lift back up. Look up. And as you exhale, reach your arms out and behind you, thumbs facing each other towards your lower back. And then push your hands into your glutes to sink your hips forward, but don't bend your legs. Push to your feet and your quads, extending and opening up through your chest, broadening across your shoulders, and then maybe lean back into it. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, can you lean back again? Legs strong. One more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean back. Look back. Inhale, lift up. Steady. Reach arms out and up. Keep your arms high parallel to each other. Heel toe your feet together. Big toes touching side by side. Heels slightly apart. Core strong. Reaching out of the side body through your lats. Inhale. And then as you exhale, swan dive down. It's okay to bend at your knees, still warming up. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. As you exhale, walk it forward into your plank. Find a nice strong plank. Shift forward to your tiptoes. Lower halfway down. Remember, you can always modify by dropping to your knees. Inhale to your upper facing dog. Exhale, drop back down or facing dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet once again. And then lengthen halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Engage as you root to rise, reaching out and up. Exhale, your hands to your heart, standing tall. We're going to take that two more times, moving forward and then walking backwards. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, walk it forward. Belly nice and tight as you stretch out. Shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Elbows squeeze in tight. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, draw back, downward facing dog. Right away, walk your hands back towards your feet, emptying out your exhale all the way. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Engage as you root to rise, lift up. Right away, this time, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, plant the palms, walk it out to your plank. Right away, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Complete your exhale as you walk your hands back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Engage, root to rise, lift up. And exhale your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath. Reconnecting yourself not only to your breath, but to this moment. And with the intention of being filled with love. So there's a lot of focus of moving backwards, moving backwards, 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 to where it has this energy of drawing us into our back body, which ties us to past, past trauma, past hurt, um, past learning. Um, so it allows us to kind of move into that space, but now it's all about moving forward and letting all of that go, beginning anew. So as you inhale, reach and lift up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, walk it out into your plank. Shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward with root. Let your back knee go down, keeping your toes tucked. And then you're going to sweep your arms out and up nice and wide, keeping your arms wide like you're holding on to a giant ball. Let your hips sink forward a little bit. Relax your shoulders, lengthen your neck. And now begin to seal your hands together. Bend at your elbows so you can place the back of your thumbs toward the back of your neck, supporting the base of your skull. And then see if you can tilt your chin up and look up. So you can feel that broadening across the front of your ribs, like they're almost extending and stretching. And now take three big breaths. Maybe you can lean back a little bit. See if you can straighten on the arms from the elbows up. Take a big inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, lifting your spine nice and tall. And then re-extend the arms, reaching out and up. Now exhale, let the back knee lift. Take an inhale. Exhale, let your hands come down. Come to the fingertips, just create a little bit of space. That back heel stays high. You're going to reach and extend your right arm out and up. Inhale. Press firm into your right big toe to squeeze it into your inner thigh, creating more space and length at your lower lumbar. Now reach your right hand straight back. And now wrap it around to that half bind. Draw the right shoulder back. And then gently look down. Breathing for three. For two, keeping your gaze down, just reach your right arm high, exhale, right hand down, plant your palms, step it back, high plank, either just press to downward facing dog or take your vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, breaths nice and calm, inhale, your left leg floats up, exhale, step it forward and through. Let your back knee go down gently, keeping your toes tucked and then big energetic lift of the arms. Reach arms out and up. Soften through the shoulders, keep your arms wide again like you're holding to that giant ball. Let your hips sink forward a little bit, feeling a stretch in the front of your right hip. And now lift with energy through your heart. Keep that as you seal your hands, inhale, seal. Exhale, bend at your elbows. Let the hook of your thumbs kind of settle into the nape of your neck towards the base of your skull. And then see if you can lean back a little bit. Relax your shoulders. Breathe deep for three, 
You can expand to the front of your lungs, into the front of your rib cage. As you inhale, bring your hands, extend from the elbows, arms straight. And then draw your hands up to your heart spine tall. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lift your back knee. Find that power in the exhale. And then inhale, reach your arms high. And as you exhale, bring your hands forward and down, fingertips down. Back heel stays high and strong. Inhale, left arm reaches out and up. Squeeze the inner thigh in towards your belly, belly in towards your back. So if you look down at your left knee, it should be directly on top of your heel. And your left big toe should be pointed straight forward. And now look up towards your left hand. And now reach your left hand straight back towards your left hip. And now bend your elbow, taking into that gentle half bind, drawing the left shoulder back even more. See if your elbow can pull away from your hip bone. And then now slowly look down to your right hand. Without collapsing that left shoulder down, you want to keep the left shoulder stacked open. Keeping your eyes down, inhale, the left arm reaches up. Exhale, bring the left hand down, plant your right palm, step it back, high plank. Again, option one, just press to down dog, or option two, take your vinyasa. Breathing nice and deep and calm for three. And then rising high, your tiptoes look forward, step your right and then your left foot forward. Feel that movement of energy reaching forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, reverse one of all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Big toes together, side by side, heels slightly apart. Inhale into a chair pose. Sitting your hips low, arms high, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. If you have a float back, feel free to add it. Gently plant the palms down, step or float it back. Moving through your vinyasa. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward and through. You're setting up for warrior one, so let the back heel go down, and then inhale, reach your arms forward and up. You're gonna take a few heart openers here, so keep everything from the hips down the same, nice and stable. So you're gonna sink into that stability, straighten the right leg a little bit. Now feel that lift in your heart, keep that, but now bend into that right leg again. And then arms high, lift and look up. Exhale, cactus arms, lean back. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, melt back. One more inhale, reach. Exhale, melt back and hold. Can you straighten out the arms here? And then interlace your fingertips behind you, lifting your chest up. Lift your spine up. So we're gonna take two different variations of our humble warrior. So we're allowing the hips to sway first and then we're bringing it back to center. So I'll show you real quick, just so you can see. So once you're in it, you don't have to look up. So at first, you're going to let your hips push out to the right, which pushes your chest to the side. This is a little bit easier because we're just kind of singing out of our hip line. So you're going to allow yourself to come here. After a few breaths, we're going to align the hips in the spine, which means you stay low, but you shift everything forward. So you're creating that disalignment or out of alignment and then coming back into it, feeling that traction that it builds on the outer edge of your right hip. So lift your heart up, let your glutes stick back to the right side as it pushes your chest forward to the left, and then just bow your head. Let your hands reach up overhead towards the ceiling. Giving your hips a second to open, your legs a moment to fire up, your chest and shoulders and heart to open. So now think about keeping your chest open even though it's down and keep it low as you slowly begin to reach the crown of your head straight forward towards your right foot. And then can you bow a little bit further down? Hold it here, hands reaching higher. Feel like your hairline is trying to reach to your right big toe. Last three.
power into your feet. This is all from your legs and your core. Keep your hands bound. Inhale, bring your heart back up. Straighten through that right leg. Begin to pivot your foot over towards that left side. So you're at a wide leg straddle. Readjust your feet to where your feet are slightly pigeon-toed. Readjust your grip of your hands. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chin. And then as you exhale, slowly begin to forward fold. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. It's a little bit more about your chest and shoulders. And then we'll add the legs. So letting the crown of your head go straight down to the back. Then lift your hands off of your lower back. Then maybe push from your quads to straighten out through the legs. Play with a little bit of shifting in your feet. Notice how it's comfortable just to relax into the safety pocket of your heels. How does it feel and what happens when you shift forward into your toes? Do you get that little uh-oh feeling? Activate your core. You want to keep that. You do want to keep your weight into the toes. If you feel like you need to widen your stance a little bit, feel free to adjust your feet a little bit wider or draw it in. You are trying to lean forward enough to maybe one day ground the crown of your head down. We're here for five breaths. Can your exhales take you deeper into that hinge of your forward fold? Maybe tuck your chin in more. Look up towards your belly button. Keep your core strong. You're slowly lifting your heart just a little bit. Bend your legs. Activate your quads and your glutes. Keep your back flat as you bring it halfway up. Belly tight, power into your legs, stand all the way up. Whew, good job. Let the arms extend out. Pivot your right foot forward, finding warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach that right arm back. The left hand is nice and light. Just take three big breaths into the right side of your lungs and into your rib cage. Again, your vinyasa can take you right into your downward facing dog if your shoulders are fatigued today or move through a vinyasa. Take an inhale, exhale, carve your hands all the way down, step it back either to your down dog or high plank, and then move through your vinyasa. Pause to breathe in down dog, inhale. Even let it go. Into the nose. And out through your nose. Inhale, your left leg lifts up. Nice and strong and straight. Put in the effort in the lift, especially at the last second. Lift. Exhale, step it forward and through. Let the right heel ground down with power and energy. Reach to warrior one. Arms up. Soften through the shoulders. Again, just to settle into that anchor, straighten your left leg. And then exhale, bend a little bit deeper. Engage. Push with your right quad. Don't let that heel lift. You want to push it. And then lift your heart, cactus arms, exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, draw it back. One more, then we stay, inhale. Exhale, draw it back, hold. Lay your arms straight out. Interlace your fingertips. See if you can interlace your opposite grip. So notice which thumb is on top and switch the grip. And squeeze tight as you lift your heart higher. So remember that open hip, humble warrior. So lift your chest, lifting your spine. Let your hips sway out to the left side as it pushes your chest over to the right and then hinge and forward fold. Give your hips and your legs a second. Keep both feet strong. Don't make your left leg do all the work. And now can you keep your heart low, but begin to reach the crown of your head straight forward, same direction as your left big toe. Tuck your chin in more. Maybe your hands can reach higher. Maybe your head can reach and drop a little bit lower towards your left foot. Reach, try, breathe. Three, two, one more. Keep your hands bound, legs strong. Inhale, lift your heart back up. Begin to straighten through that left leg. Begin to pivot your feet. So all 10 toes are facing to this right side of your mat, pigeon toe your feet. So this is where you think about how your hamstrings felt on the other side. I'll turn around so you can kind of see everything. So 
Think about how it felt. How far away was the crown of your head from the mat last time? If it was really, really far, maybe take a second to widen your stance here. If your head came down really, really easily, then shorten your stance. So lift your heart, lift your chin. Remember, it's okay to bend your legs. They straighten lats. So micro bend, just to protect your lower back, creating more space in the hinge. Give your chest and shoulders a second to adjust. And then push from your legs, from your quads, from your feet. Relax any tension around your neck and shoulders. Again, notice where is the crown of your head to the mat? How far? If it's really far, then widen your stance a little bit. And then can you shift forward into your toes? And then can you hinge from there? Tuck your chin in tighter than you think you want to. Tuck your chin and look all the way up towards your belly button. And notice if you can hinge more. Reach more with the arms. Last two. Exhale. One more. Gentle bend to your legs, bring your spine just halfway up. Power into your feet, power into your core, and then you're gonna stand all the way up. Give yourself a second. Once you stand all the way up, let the arms extend. You're gonna pivot your left foot forward, and then come into that warrior two. So with that left leg bent, you're in warrior two. And then left palm flips up, inhale, reverse your warrior back, Keep that right leg nice and straight and strong. Right hand is light. Breathe into your left lung for three. Move with your breath in two. Inhale. Exhale, carry your hands all the way down. Either step it back or move through your vinyasa. And then give yourself a big cleansing breath. Inhale. Side out. And then gently release your knees. Untuck your toes and just sit back to hero's pose. So sitting onto the heels, roll your shoulders back a few times. And then shake out the arms. And then reaching your arms out and up, interlace your fingertips and then reach and press your palms up towards the ceiling. Notice how we want to kind of arch to do that. Try to engage. Pull your belly button in. Feel like your tailbone is tucking and even feel a little lift of your hips and your pelvic floor. And then you're gonna pull your arms over to the left side. Gentle tuck of your chin and then press the back of your head in towards your right forearm. Relax your shoulders. Pull the base of your rib cage back and down. And then let your hips lean over to the right side as you lean your torso over towards the left. It's almost like your left elbow is trying to pull down to touch your left hip. And then look up towards the ceiling, towards your right elbow. If you feel like you're going to fall over to the left side, your hips aren't pushing far enough for your collarbone balance to the right. A little bit of fire into the tops of your feet as you roll back up over the ankles to center. Reach your arms high. First, just pull the arms over to the right so the left elbow is bent high. Readjust, make sure your throat is nice and open. So you should never feel like the arms are closing your throat. You want your throat to open, lengthening all through that left lat. And this might be intense enough, so if you don't want to add the lean, because you can notice that that intensifies it, you can stay right here and breathe. If not, let your hips shift over to the left foot Rolling to the outer edge of the ankle a little bit. And now let your body lean over towards the right. Feel the weight of your right elbow trying to pull down towards your right hip. Left elbow is light off of your head. And now look up towards it. Power into your feet to help lift your hips back up. Lifting your spine back up. Reaching your arms high. And then exhale, release your arms and your hands, shake it all up. 
So we're just gonna do a little bit of core activation, opening up through the chest and shoulders, using the strength of our obliques and our spinal strength. So it's gonna be open twists. So you're just gonna reach your arms up nice and high. If you need to kind of flesh out your legs for a second, you can if you're like, oh, that's tight. Maybe sit back with tuck toes and then settle back down. So think about the arms being nice and straight. Take an inhale. Exhale, your right arm sweeps down and back. Can you get the arms parallel to the ground and reach? Core tight. Inhale, bring it back to center, reach up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Left arm goes down and back. Can the arms be extended, reaching front to back? Notice if your belly is dropping, pull it in, tailbone tucks. Three more times each side. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, twist right. The effort is there right away. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, twist left. Two more. Inhale, reach. As you exhale, can you twist more to the right? Maybe look towards your right thumb. Inhale, bring it back up. Keep your knees together. Exhale, left. Inhale, bring it back up. One more each side. Exhale, right. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Take an inhale. Side up. Keep your hands sealed, elbows down, and can you just lean straight forward and ground your elbows? You're gonna keep your hands in prayer, but spread your fingertips wide so you're pressing to the pinkies, and you're gonna lift the hips, tuck your toes, you're slowly lifting into dolphin, keeping your hands in prayer. So lift the knees, pull your hips up and back, relax your head so your ears are dangled in between your biceps, and just sink the heels back. We're here for five. If you like someone holding onto your hips, pulling them up to the ceiling. Last three. Full calm breaths, two. And then gently release back down to the knees. Untuck your toes and lift your spine up. Shake it up. So just rolling over to either side of your glutes, just extend your legs forward and scoot more towards the front edge of your mat so you have plenty of space. And you're just gonna bounce out the legs here. Even pedal out your feet a little bit. And just taking a quick little forward fold just to evenly kind of pull and stretch out your hips and your lower back. So readjust your glutes so you feel nice and even. Maybe you want to physically lift your glutes. And then reach your arms up. Exhale, reach your heart and your arms forward. Reach as far as you can down your legs or towards your feet and just hold it there, relaxing your head and shoulders, breathing for three. And then gently lift your heart back up. And bend into your right leg, sitting up nice and tall, coming into seated head to knee pose, which is Janu Shushasana. So allowing that right hip to drop open. The legs kind of look like tree pose. If it's too intense for the sole of your foot to come to the inner thigh or groin, you want to bring it further down towards your calf. As you inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, reach your heart straight forward, especially that right side of your rib cage. Reach it forward. And then let your head settle and relax. You feel like the right side of your ribs are really popping up. It helps to kind of exaggerate this to where you feel like you're twisting over to the left. So maybe you take both hands over to the left side and actually kind of twist. And then you let your heart and chest settle back up over your left knee. And then relax your head and shoulders. We're just here for three. So take nice deep full breaths. Two. One more deep breath. And then slowly begin to lift your heart back up. You're going to reach your arms high. Take that open twist to the right, to where the right arm goes back, left arm is forward, and then it's like a teeter totter. 
Your right hand goes down, left arm reaches up. Now press to your feet and the shin of right foot and reach and lift up. Look towards your left hand for three. Even add a smile into your breath and two. Inhale. Exhale, let your hips come back down. Naturally, when you come back to center, you want to lift that right knee up, hug it in, readjust your glutes. Right arm goes high. Once again, twist to the right. This time, your right hand either goes down or behind you. Left arm reaches up. Exhale, hook that elbow, taking that spinal twist. If your spine ends up doing this, make sure your hand is down to help. Looking over your right shoulder. Hold it here for three. For two. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist deeper. Now look forward towards your left hand. Unwinding your spine, place your palms over to the left, and then bow your head down. Take a big breath. And then lift your heart back up. Bring your heart back to center. Interlace your fingertips with the arch of your right foot. Lift your heart first. Activate the left foot by flexing it. And then just kick your right heel straight forward. This may be it. You want a straight spine. And then maybe straighten through the leg. But don't compromise a nice straight spine. Lift your heart. Even feel this little bit of kind of teeter-tottering of weight. You want it somewhere right in between to where you don't feel like the leg is pulling you down and not like you're going to fall backwards. But somewhere right in between to where you're leaning back a little bit, but there's energy in your right foot so you can feel this opening in between your shoulder blades more towards the rhomboids. And then maybe tilt your head back. Maybe your eyes closed just to enjoy it a little bit more. Five. Four. Last three. Two. Big breath in. Exhale, you let the body weight of your right leg pull your heart all the way forward and down with control. Readjust your grip to both feet, readjust your glutes. Little pull, lift your heart. Exhale, pull forward, fold. Maybe feel the imbalance in your legs, how much tighter this left leg feels. And then bring your spine up. Pick up that left leg. And then let your left hip drop open. Remember, you can decrease the angle to make it less intense. You want your heart to be forward, so make sure your chest doesn't twist over towards that open hip. So you want to pull and push that left rib cage forward, reach your arms high. Exhale, hinge and forward, fold. If you feel perfectly balanced here, then you can stay. If you want to level out even more, exaggerate it. Bring your hands over to the right side. Can you lean and twist over to the right? So you're pulling out of the back of the left psoas a little bit. And then you bring everything back into center. You'll notice that you can go a little bit deeper evenly. Soft around your neck and shoulders, taking three big breaths. Next inhale, softly lift back up. Reach your arms up. Open twist towards the left side. Left arm goes back, right arm goes forward. And then like that teeter-totter, left hand goes down. Point through your right toes and then lift up. Look back towards your right hand. Three. Try to ground your whole right foot. Big inhale. Exhale, let your hips come back down. Going with that, letting that left knee lift up. Readjust your glutes. Sitting up nice and tall, hold onto your shin with your right hand. Left arm reaches up. Exhale, twist. And again, it can come right down to support you or wrap behind you. Maybe start with the support and you can add the wrap later. Reach your right arm high. Exhale, twist, hooking that elbow. Keep an extension through the wrist and your palm, lifting your heart. And exhale, twist. Again, as long as you don't compromise the depth of your breath and the length of your spine, maybe that left hand goes behind you. Breathing for three. Relax your shoulders, sit tall. Twist more. One more, sit tall. Twist more. Look forward first, releasing your neck. 
and slowly untwist your spine. Plant your palms off to the right, taking that gentle bow. And then lifting your heart back up. Readjust your sits bones to center. Interlace your fingertips at the ball of your left foot. First, just kick straight forward to lift your heart, straightening through your spine. Activate your right calf, flexing your foot, and then begin to kick and extend. Again, maybe play with kind of that rocking a little bit front to back, noticing where you feel that equal leverage of the body weight of your torso and the body weight of your left leg where you're leaning back a little bit, but you're sending more power into the left foot, and then lift your heart, lift your chin, make your head tilts back. Shoulders nice and soft, heart lifted, breathe, five. Feel free to close your eyes. Feel your heart extending higher, not sinking. Last two. Big inhale. Exhale, let the body weight of that left leg slowly pull you forward and down with control. And then take your grip to your feet or your ankles, readjust your glutes. Lift your heart. Exhale, pulls you forward full. Relax your shoulders. If you already can reach towards your feet, maybe you can reach beyond your feet and hold to one wrist. Holding, two. Last one. And then gently begin to roll it up. Once you roll it up, bend your knees to ground your feet. Extend your arms straight forward. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your tailbone. Begin to roll it all the way down. Letting your arms go all the way up overhead. Let your legs butterfly open. Arms just relax open. Just hold it here for a second. And then either the arms slide out like airplane wings or bent like cactus arms. Bent and cactus arms are just going to kind of anchor you a little bit heavier, getting a little bit more into your biceps and your deltoids and your pecs. So your left knee will stay where it is. Your right knee is going to collapse on top of it. Put in effort in the push from your right hip and then look over your right shoulder. Maybe a little bit deeper. You slide that right knee higher to where the sole of your foot pushes on top of your left quad. Take another deep breath. Let it all release back to center. Taking the time to settle back into that butterfly shape, into reclined butterfly or reclined baddha reclined. And slowly let your left knee collapse over the right knee. Again, put in effort here, pushing your left hip forward as you look over towards the left side. That's intense enough, hold it here. Or slide that left knee higher to where the sole of your left foot is pushing on top of your right quad. So just putting a little bit more effort in that lower lumbar spine twist. Take another big breath. And then slowly settle back into center. Soles of your feet together. Readjust your glutes and your hips. Restretch your arms up overhead. And then release your arms out and down to help guide and close your legs together like a book. Hugging it in and then gently rock it out from side to side. More for your neck and shoulders if you want to. You rock it all the way to one side. Try to roll across the side and the back of your head. Roll it all the way over to the other, keeping the side of your head down. If you want to do this a couple more times, feel free. If not, you're slowly settling back into center. If there's anything else that your body needs, take it now. And then when you feel ready, you're settling all the way out into your final shape, into your final pose. Shavasana. In today's Shavasana, we're going to create that connection. The connection to your heart, to Anahata. So left hand over your heart, and you're going to seal your right hand on top. 
And just let the arms hang heavy. Finding comfort in the weight and the warmth of your hands. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. As you let it go, feel your heart softening. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more, inhale. How much can you release? Let it all go. <sighs> Allowing yourself to be still, feeling calm and relaxed. But this heightened sense of awareness and connection to the feeling of love. that gentle yet powerful rhythm that's beneath your hands. And just begin to fill your mind, fill your heart with all the things and the people in your life that you love. And did you name yourself? If you haven't, say it to yourself now. Even say your name in the third person. And then just simply allow your hands to soften towards the ground. Feel that opening of your heart. And then give it a big breath in. Sigh it out. Allow yourself to just simply absorb all this love. And slowly we just begin to move into the fetal position to either side. And then when you're ready, slowly begin to press your body up, finding your way to that comfortably seated position, whichever is most comfortable for you. As long as your spine is nice and tall, your heart is lifted and open, and your shoulders and your hips can relax. Lift your shoulders up just to feel and to allow them to melt down and back. At first, allow your palms to ground down. Feel them weighing heavily on your legs, giving yourself that sense of grounding, of strength, stability. And then allow your palms to flip facing up, allowing them to be open. So you energetically are saying, I am open to receive. What is it that you need in this moment? Can you allow yourself to feel it and receive it in this moment? Receive love. Knowing that we are all constantly surrounded by this vast energy field of love and all it takes is one deep conscious breath and that connection to the love in our lives that will connect us to it. So as you begin to extend and reach your arms all the way up overhead, gather all that love. Seal it into your hands and draw it into your heart. Inhale, breathe it into your heart. As you exhale, soften into it as you seal it in your heart. And just simply say to yourself, I am loved. Allow 
allow your next breath to ignite that divine bright white light within you. And that divine light within me honors, we bows to the divine light within you. That light that is made up of love and truth and beauty and peace. And when we are in this space, we are united, we are connected, and we are all one. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.